I'm Pastor George Borgard, and this is an Fire Things video short. Compartmentalized Christianity leads to canceled Christianity. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, Amazon, Google, iTunes, soon, Roku, Roku and I, uh, Apple TV. Donate. If you love what we're doing, passing the faith to the next generation, give today, right there. Your tax deductible gift keeps us a rolling, and we need your gifts in these dark times. So we are all guilty of this to some extent in the days that we live in now, uh, but the world has gotten so evil that it's not going to work much longer. In the past, people would talk about Sunday Christianity. But what I'm going to talk about is compartmentalized Christianity, which means we compartmentalize our life in order to get by. Uh, we have our Christianity. We have our family life. We have our work life. We have our play life. Um, we may have other compartments, volunteerism and the like, but all of these different things, we put on different hats and we do them to the best of our ability. And as long as uh, there are no conflicts between them, everything works out fine. Our family life is helped by our, um, by our churchy life, um, and work is work and play is play. Now the problem is, today, in the world that we live in, in the cancel culture, which is pushing up against not only Western civilization, but also the church itself, the uh, the truths held by the church, what is right and wrong in this world, our views of, of homosexuality and marriage and Christ being salvation for mankind alone. Those things come up against the world that would cancel them. And, in a, and we can hold these truths in compartments for a time. The problem is... One of them is going to give. And this is true throughout the whole of the Christian, uh, of, of the church. The children of Israel, when they did not get rid of the gods of the places where they, um, they invaded, ended up worshiping those gods. They took wives from the indigenous people and ended up worshiping their gods. And anyone who's been married knows how easy that might be. We just want our spouse happy. The problem is that those two are in conflict and one's going to give. And the Lord will not suffer himself to be second in your life or a compartment in your life. So what happens is your Christianity ends up going the way of the dodo bird. It ends up compromising. It ends up being being given up. You're silent where you should speak and speaking a different faith than your faith. And you, it happens gradually and you don't know it. And so you say sentences like this. Oh, I love Jesus and I believe in God, but I don't accept X, Y, Z, P, Q from scripture. I love God, but we all have the same God. And these things that which we do to avoid cancellation will speed not the world canceling us, but us giving away our faith. We cancel ourselves. So don't fear the cancel culture. No. Now's the time to believe what you believe when it comes to Jesus. It's as true as Jesus loves me this I know because the Bible tells me so. And believe what you believe and hold fast to it. And don't fear cancellation. Confess your faith. Say what Jesus says for you to say. Believe what he teaches you in the word, in church. And don't fear being canceled or put out of the synagogues or thrown into, into unemployment. The worst that could happen to you happened to Jesus. They killed him. He rose from the dead. He lives. You live in him. It's true now by faith, it will be true on the last day. And by faith, it's already true. 
So nothing that they can do to you will actually harm you. And in Jesus, you'll find the strength to break through all these different compartments to let Jesus be the center of your church life, the center of your work life, the center of your family life, the center of your fun life. Because that's the God he is, who wants to save all of you and not just part of you. If you fear the world and succumb to it, you'll lose your salvation. What would it gain a man to gain the whole world and lose his life? And what would a man give in exchange for his life? His salvation. Hold fast to him. He holds fast to you. Don't fear the world. And catch yourself with your compartments. And with those compartments, if you see, um, and we all have done this, that you are living a life of contradictions, confess your sins, receive forgiveness, and go back in there again receiving more of the one who, who who can throw body and soul into hell. I don't, you know, don't fear the guy who could just kill you. Fear the guy who could throw body and soul into hell. And he refuses to do that because of the cross. Because of the cross. Think about it. Compartmentalized Christianity ends with a canceled Christian. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.